welcome back to my channel. The next series that I'm going to be making for the next couple video is going to be back to school edition. Yay! Woo! After I graduated college and I started working and I started being on YouTube, I really lose track of time. I don't keep track of the month or day or you know, especially within the week. I don't even know if it's Sunday or Monday anymore, especially you know I work at home. I didn't realize that it's almost time for school again. I mean, I'm not in school, but you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on YouTube, you know, back to school haul, back to school makeup, and here and there. So I thought it would be fun to do a back to school mukbang. Not too long ago, somebody actually commented asking me if I could do like a back to school recipe or back to school kind of edition. And I thought about it and I wasn't sure what I would do with it, especially Especially when I was back in college, I didn't have time to cook. Not only that, I didn't have place to cook. I didn't have anything to um, cook with. Instead of sharing recipes with you guys, I decided to share a lot of instant food. So I don't know if you guys can see back here. I have like the cup. These are all Korean, by the way. These are this is seaweed soup, and this is the uh, oxbone soup, and I have curry and. I know that a lot of Korean mukbangers do it, but not in English mukbang community. So I wanted to just bring it to you. I just wanted to share with you guys. I'll try to find it on Amazon, eBay if you guys can get it online. Actually, I wanted to ask if you guys want to see the instant food from Target or Walmart. Let me know. I can uh, add another video on uh, just picking out a couple things from there and just reviewing for you guys. You know, microwaveable food basically. So today I want to kick it off with some kimchi stew. So I know you guys might wonder how are you gonna make kimchi stew in dormitory in a dorm room? Because you know it's not like you're gonna bring kimchi and cut it up. The other day I actually saw this at H Mart. Kimchi stew can. This is a canned kimchi stew basically. I think all you have to do is add water. Oh, there's soybean oil, pork, onions, garlic, sugar, kimchi sauce radish base oh radish base so i want to use two and see how it tastes i wish that i had this when i was back in college because i would have totally bought like hundreds of them whenever i wanted kimchi stew in my freshman year i had to go out to and buy kimchi stew and in a korean family that's kind of a i mean like growing up my mom always taught me don't ever buy food that you can make at home really easily so I never actually bought kimchi stew ever, ever, ever in my life until I went to college. So I kind of wish that we had this back then. Also on the side, I have tuna, canned tuna and canned salmon. I don't know which I'm going to use, but I'm going to add it to the kimchi stew. Also, I have some spam. Um, easy. These are pretty accessible nowadays. And of course, since this is college or back to school edition, I have microwave bowl rice. In college, you want to save as much time and much effort and like you don't want to do dishes and all that so um i wanted to keep it simple uh if you guys don't have like a portable stove and a pot i would but i think you should really get a microwaveable pot i think i think this is microwaveable because this is glass right but i would get a microwaveable pot and you could just dump it in there and microwave it and you could do that but since i have i mean although it is college edition i think like I, want, I still want to use the stove. It's more fun. Okay, so let's just get started. So, let's open this. Ooh. It smells like kimchi soup. Oh, okay. I'm gonna open this one too. As of right now, I don't really see much. I only see um, lots and lots of kimchi. Oh my gosh, my microphone. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, well, well, these. I'm gonna put my microphone right there. Okay, um, let's turn this on. And add. Ooh, let's see. I see a little bit of pork. Yeah, I do. And that's really it. Oh, I see some green onions. Hi, Ame. Okay, let's just add one more. I'm gonna definitely need more water. I know, it's kimchi. I don't like kimchi. Okay, let's try add salmon or tuna. Salmon, tuna, salmon, tuna. I'm gonna add tuna. Hi. 
So if you open it, it looks like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to add probably not all of it. Another thing about going back to college, you you should try to save a lot because college students are poor, unless you're rich, I guess. But I was very poor, so you, you don't want to use everything all at once. I try to save some. Uh, let's add a little bit more because it's getting really hot. Okay. So what I used to do, I just I'm pretty sure a lot of people do this, but uh, just kind of scoop it in. You want to keep it thin. Let's add water. I don't... I want to start off little. Oh, I hope this is okay. Mmm, okay, I think I added too much water. Maybe you're not even supposed to add water for this. is fine. I think if I let it sit and boil for a little longer, I should be good. Mm. Okay. Two now. Mm. Okay, so another thing. It kind of looks like I got punched in the face, right? So <laughs> I was trying to do something different today for my makeup. Uh, I have this purple shadow and I love it. I love it. I really love wearing this, especially during fall because it's fall you wear a lot of dark colors and um yeah i really like the color and i pulled it out today and i was putting i was thinking about should i put on my eyeshadow or whatever but you should do kvc but i decided to put it on as my blush and it looks like i got punched in the face can you see like right here whatever i kind of like it <laughs> i like to look like i got punched in the face that's what i'm basically saying right but you know what i mean oh this is not bad but it's little... Maybe I did add, add too much water. But you definitely... It tastes like kimchi stew, but a little bit... Kind of diluted. But... I used to hear stories of these Korean celebrity, like singers, because usually... Um, like in Korea, I mean like I don't know how it's like everywhere, but in Korea, if you want to become a celeb, like a, like a singer, you have to train for a long time, like 10 to 20 years, or like some people less, some people more. Usually throughout the process, you're very poor. So they try to save as much money as they can, like for like, let's say for a cup of noodles, you would let it sit for a long time so it gets kind of swell you know how it kind of gets soggy and it, but they do get a little puffier they wait until it becomes that stage so they will feel a little bit more full if that even makes sense you know and sometimes they would add more water even though it's a little diluted and just a little bit more food i'm not saying that you should be doing that <laughs> but um i just want to kind of defend myself for adding a little too much water <laughs> anyways um on that note i forgot to kind of introduce this ramen too it's called Pude. This is a Korean based army stew instant ramen, and I want, I want to review this um, next. Uh, maybe after this video, maybe after two days, I don't know, but I really want to review this too. So stay tuned for that! I'm filming a lot of ASMR videos, and I've been kind of dying to talk, so I'm talking a lot in this video. And I know some of you guys really hate it, and you guys don't want me to talk a lot. Go check out my ASMR channel. Okay. You know what? What the heck? Let's add. Salmon. I never tried this one before. Ooh! Oh my god! I got a spicy to spicy salmon. So it looks like that. Let's add just like a. Okay, that's it. I a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy! I know this looks really. I know some of you guys might think this is gross, but in college everything tastes good. If you're in college, you can't be picky. You eat what you have. Okay. I'm gonna boil it a little bit longer and I'll be right back. I have some milk kiss. 
Um, it's, I've been drinking it all day, kind of, but since I don't want to waste it, I'm use this. Ta da! Cheers! So I'm cheating a little bit because I have some side dishes. This one has been sitting in my refrigerator, so I just need to get rid of it. This I made just plain eggs. Okay, maybe I could just turn it around like that. And I have two sausages, Korean Vienna sausages. Let's eat, guys. I'm hungry. So hungry. Woo! <sighs> Yummy. I might be careful, okay? Love you. <laughs> okay, this looks... Okay, maybe... I know that if you guys have been following me for a long time, this might be like the most like, simplest in a way. But what do you expect? This is a college or back to school edition. I'm not saying that it should be as um, kind of like, I guess, shitty. I mean, like, you can be eating some delicious college food, but if you want something quick and easy, I think this is. <sighs> See, it looks bad. It looks really simple and like really plain, but it's so good. If I was, I if I, okay, so I'm trying to imagine myself. As a freshman, how long ago was that? Like 2017? 2000. Oh my god. I went to college in 2009. Oh my gosh. That was my, my, I was freshman in college in 2009. Oh my god. That was so long time ago. What is happening? Okay, so I'm gonna have some rice here. Um, and I have rice here. I have some rice here. Okay. Well, I can tell you that the soup is just delicious. So. I'm I think this is salmon. Let's try the salmon. I haven't tried the salmon yet. Mmm. Mmm. Where's the tuna? The salmon is obviously a little bit more orange, and the tuna is a little bit more just um, pale, I guess. Mmm, it's got some. My tongue is in kind of a bad condition right now because I've been just, I don't know. I don't know if it's the stress. I don't even know what I should be stressed about, but I've been tired of stress. So my tongue, I have a lot of, um, oh, bro, is it kangasaur? It's not kangasaur. Is it kangasaur? I say panku. So, you know, I love hot food right now. It's really, really difficult. Okay, so let's let this cool a little bit. So this is anchovies marinated in like spicy sauce. Mmm. I might need another rice. Even back in college, one rice was not enough. Mmm. My uh hands. -huh. One thing that I really miss about 
Uh, number one food that I missed a lot. The number one food that I missed a lot in college was Korean food. Mm. How could I not? Oh my god. This reminds me. Oh, I used to hate doing laundry back in college. When I was in dorm, a dormitory. Yeah, I used to hate it because I used to live on the tenth floor. I don't know how many of you guys are. So I went to University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign, and I don't know how many of you guys are watching. But I used to live at FAR my freshman year. That's um, Florida Avenue residency right and uh, there's a two when you go inside um there's um a trailies is it a trailies something like that and the oglesby that's old and i used to be on the oglesby right og or whatever um and i used to be on the 10th floor and i met like you know my friends and i made a lot of friends there and the laundry you have to go all the way downstairs the basement and I hated that I hated it so much and especially during the week you know like who does you usually don't have time to go do laundry because you're in classes all day and night and you have like your homework to do you have to meet up with the group to the group project stuff like that so you don't have time So you go on a weekend, like everybody else. So you wait, you spend a lot of time doing laundry because you have to wait. You have to, you know, like wait for it to actually clean and yada 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 da da. <laughs> it's like it really sucked. This spam is good. You know what else is I used to hate about doing laundry? Like waiting is one thing. But I remember some people that, you know, like since a lot of people are using the laundry, you have to be really on top of it so you can um, let other people use it too. But some people didn't give a shit. 
day, we'll just leave it in the dryer, leave it in the washer, and you just wait for it, and nobody comes to pick it up. And literally 30 minutes after, I decided to just take it out myself, and there's like underwears, like guys' underwears that looks really just, I don't know, just old and dirty. You don't want to touch that. I just met somebody that you don't know. So I used to hate that. I say that I was like five minutes late to get my own clothes from the dryer. Someone already took it out. I don't even know if it's a girl or a guy, but the fact that they touched my clean underwear and my bra and all that, it just made me really feel uncomfortable. I didn't like that. So I always try to be there a little bit early before it's done. But <laughs> another thing I remember is um there used to be a couple, like there used to be one I think that didn't take any coins, so it was free. Like so we had to pay our own money, like we had to put coin in there, which was another annoying thing. Because sometimes the coin machine breaks and you know, you just don't, you know, you don't carry around coins everywhere. So you have to go out of your way to pick it up and all that. But some, um, well anyways, there was this one machine, I think for a very short time that you didn't, it didn't take coin. Yep, you didn't need to put coin in to make it work. So, um, it was kind of like a... Not a lot of people knew about it because they just put automatically put coins in there. But some people knew that you don't need to do that. So I used I kind of like utilized that for a long time. It's so good. This is pretty simple, you know? I think I'm gonna need one more rice. I'll make one more rice. Mm, okay. Second rice. This rice is so hot, so let's wait another minute. Like I love hot food, but I seriously this rice is just unbearable. It's so hot. <laughs> I think this is the hottest thing that I ever ate. Stop. Look how hot this is. Oh, so hot. See, look how, oh my god, look how hot this is. I can't eat this. I would really, really damage something <laughs> if I eat that. Let's eat the hot dog.
The soup is perfect. Like it's not like, like it's not super hot anymore. But the rice will make it hot again. Which is scaring me because look how hot this is. Mmm. I remember watching Human Centipede, the movie, <clears throat> with my friends, my freshman year. It was so gross, but it was so much fun though. It was gross, but since you're watching with your friend, it was really fun. Friends. Uh. Man, I used to be such a extroverted person. I used to love hanging out with a huge crowd. I used, I always just wanted to be with people. I think it was towards the end of college and and till today I just love being alone. I don't know, maybe I just had it too much. I just like I think I just was kind of always with people that I maybe got sick of that. Do you think that's why? If I think about it, I'm a completely different person now. But I don't think it's necessarily bad, but it's just really interesting how time changes people. <laughs> no, maybe back then we just had so much to talk about, but now I don't, I don't know. <laughs> And at this point, I don't even want to blame anything or anybody. So, why would I blame anyone? I don't mind. I don't mind being an introverted person. But I'm just saying, I don't know really what caused, caused me to become a person that I am today. Oh, and... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I never thought I would miss being in college, but these days I th think about it here. I think about it here and there.
And it's so full. Oh, huge piece of spam right here. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, stay tuned for my next um, episode on back to school. I'm thinking about doing, should I do these or should I do the ramen? Cause, because when you go to college, number one thing, well, I'm, for me, I guess this only maybe only goes for me, but one thing that I ate all the time was ramen. And it kinda, I kinda wish that we had Ramyeon is like the Korean army stew ramyeon instant noodles back in back when I was in college so I have more variety but I want to review it for you guys so just in case and I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon and eBay so I'm gonna review that for you guys that's been out for a little bit who cares uh, <laughs> I'm a little behind whatever um, I'm gonna review that probably in the next video I don't know which one I'm gonna do first and then oh oh I also have this well, I have the cur- oh my god, I'm actually dying to try this one. Actually, I had it before, but I've been dying to try it again. I had it before, I really like it, but it's a little- the smell is kind of strong. It's, an, it's not bad smell or anything, but the smell doesn't really go away. So I don't know if this is something that I want to recommend uh, if you are living in a dorm. But if you don't care, you know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are excited for the series as much as I am. And check out my SMN channel. Check out Dong Digger's channel. That's actually what I wanted to talk about today. So, actually, I'll talk about the next video. A lot of people think that I'm having issues with my relationship. Like, um, a lot of people think that I'm having relationship issues because of what I mentioned in my other video. It's, it's nothing to do with that. Our relationship is perfectly fine. Nothing has ever happened. We are... Better than ever. Um, I'm not having second thoughts. He's not having second thoughts. We're not having any doubts about our relationship. So I'll talk more about it. Uh, I'll elaborate more next video. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like this video, share this video, share with your friends and family. And <laughs> I guess if you are, if you want to, or this can be your um, guilty pleasure kind of thing that you don't want anyone to find out. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.